guys, so today's video is going to be a disappointing products video. I have so much stuff. I feel like when I do disappointing products videos or when I've done them in the past, I haven't had as much stuff, but I've started putting things into a box once I realize they're disappointing instead of just like having them everywhere and then I have to like go around and try to remember. Nobody cares. Let's just get started. Okay, so gosh, where do I even start? Let's start with this thing. So when I first started using this, I liked it, but then bad things began to happen. So this is the Formula X Delete All. It's a nail polish remover. It's a five finger nail polish remover. So it has these little holes. I'll have to do a close up, but there's like five little holes so you can stick your entire, like all five fingers in at the same time. And you're supposed to like, go like this and then pull them out and all the nail polish is going which it actually does that it does that really well the problem is if you have like a glitter nail polish on when you put your fingers in and move them around this black sponge breaks apart so when you pull your hand out your hand is covered in black little like linty bits and they're so hard to get off like I washed my hands and they were still there such a pain in the ass so if you just have a regular nail polish that's not that hard to get off this is okay but if you shimmy too hard shimmy too hard something I don't think I've ever said in a video if you shimmy too hard this will break apart and it is a total mess next product is this NYX oh and let me just give the disclaimer because I didn't give it at the beginning these are products that did not work for me if you use these products and you love them that's amazing I'm so glad that they worked for you I'm not knocking any of these brands these are just things that didn't work for me sometimes people get very offended if I talk about something that they love but everybody has different opinions, so I don't mean any harm to you, your family, your pets. It's just something that didn't work for me. Okay, this is the NYX Shine Killer. It's a primer. I used this a few times, like two weeks ago. It is it's terrible. I feel so bad saying that, but it is terrible. It does not work at all. I almost just dropped it. It doesn't work. I put it on, I put my foundation on, went about my day, and like two hours later, I was so greasy. I am extremely oily, so when I'm putting on something that says Shine Killer, I expect it to last. Even though I'm super greasy, I expect it to last more than two hours. This, no good. This is a huge disappointment. These are the hard candy what are they called? Just hard candy highlighters. They came out with these new highlighters and they're so cute. Like the packaging's cute. You get two like connected if I can even get them open. So that's what they look like. This is the more pinky toned one. This one is called Candlelit. And then this one is Twinkle Star. This one's more gold, more pink. The problem is you get nothing. You get nothing. And yes, you can wet your brush, but you still don't get as much as you can get with some other highlighters dry. You know what I mean? I, I don't always want to have to wet my brush to get something to work. I feel like it should work dry and it should work even better wet. So these huge fail. Do not waste your money. There are so many other highlighters, drugstore highlighters that you can get that are so much better than these. These were just a humongous disappointment for me. Terrible. And then I have these Wet n Wild Geometric Highlighting Powders. Now when I first got these, I thought that they were supposed to be like a traditional highlighter. They're the ones that have like the little geometric little shapes all throughout. So I thought this was going to be like a highlighter. And when I swatched it, I was like, Ooh, that just looks like powder to me. So these are supposed to be kind of like the hourglass ambient. You see that fuzz flying around? Um, they're supposed to be like the hourglass ambient lighting powders where you, it's something you can use over your entire face just to give like a, a very soft, like luminous, lit from within glow. These do not do that. They're very powdery and they just they don't look natural when you put it on your face this one is in the shade where the dreamers go and the other one i have is desert explorations so these are the two that i have neither one is nice in my opinion this one's more pink tone but do you see that there's like nothing to it 
and when you put this on your face, um, it, I don't know, like the hourglass powders when you put them on, they give you like the softest, most beautiful sheen. These just look like a white powder on your face. It's not cute at all. So these for me were a fail, a very big fail. And then I have this CoverGirl blush. This is in the shade Natural Twinkle. I love this color. It is so pretty. It's like a dusty pink. Dare I say dusty pink. It's my version of a dusty pink. But the problem is nothing. It is so light. And you guys know I'm a fan of very soft blushes that you have to build up. This one does not build up. I can dip into this like five times and put it on and it never builds up to anything. It's so light. It's just not the best quality in my opinion. When I first got this I was so excited and I used it one time and I thought that it was okay but after that like the more I would try to use it the more I was like why am I fighting with this blush? Like it shouldn't be this hard to get a blush to show up so nah. Ugh, these were a fail for me. These are the L'Oreal Glam Bronze bronzers. I think the packaging's really cool. They're enormous. So I have the shade Deep and I have Medium. Medium is this one. That was the one that I was using on my face because it just kind of matched me a little better. The Deep one has like a weird gray tone to it, but not a good gray. It's like a death gray. I just didn't love the way that these blended they didn't they were just a little difficult for me to blend and there's something weird about both tones like the undertone of both of them this one's very like reddish orange and this one like I said is very weird gray so I just didn't love these. They have shimmer in them, but it doesn't really show up on the face, so that wasn't a big deal for me. I don't know, I just couldn't get down with these. Like the undertone was so weird and mm, I just I just didn't like them. And then I have these two Essence eyeshadows, which I thought I was gonna love these so much. So this one is in the shade The Grammy Goes Glammy. I used this, I think, in like two videos, but it just doesn't last. I have another one. This one's in the shade Rosy Flamingo. They are so beautiful. And when you swatch them, okay, so there's the two colors. Now when you swatch them, they're super pigmented, but like if you look closely, there's not that much sheen. It's almost like a, a very powdery matte. Like there's, it's hard to explain. Like when I put it on, do you see how powdery that is? And there's not much of like a, not a shimmer, but like that gorgeous, like shimmery, satiny glow that you want, kind of like with Steel a Kitten. It's so metallic and beautiful. These have like no metallic anything to them. And these do not last on the eyes. I put these on and literally, I'm not joking, like five minutes later, it was gone. They just like fade away to nothing. They do not hold on to your skin. And I, of course, had like a, a eye primer with powder on top. Like I know how to base my eyes so it wasn't that they just they don't last and they're not metallic it's like a weird matte chunky powdery mess Ugh, terrible I love essence I freaking love essence I think they're so affordable and they come out with some amazing products but these for me were a total fail Oh, this is depressing because I love Soap and Glory so much. This is the Sexy Mother Pucker from Soap and Glory. I don't know if you guys remember on Snapchat when I tried this. So it's a lip plumper. And I tried this one on Snapchat thinking, oh, it's not going to be, you know, it's not going to be anything crazy. So I put it on and it's just like a clear colorless. It doesn't have any color to it. It's just a gloss put it on and the first like five seconds I was like oh it doesn't feel like anything and then your lips are so painful I mean it hurt it literally hurt so bad I wiped it off it still hurt it stung so bad and I mean my lips I already feel like they're sensitive I can't deal with certain liquid lipsticks I don't like anything that tingles or burns this was like a plumping sensation on crack on every drug that you can think of like it was so intense and it literally was painful so if you don't mind lip plumping 
like times a thousand you might not mind this I didn't feel like it did that much to plump my lips and the amount of pain that I had to go through it just wasn't worth it like if my lips would have gotten so big and gorgeous I would have been like okay maybe it's worth the pain but it didn't do that much and it hurt like a mother and not a sexy mother Next I have this L'Oreal Infallible 8 Hour Pro Gloss in the shade Petal. I just bought this not too long ago, like last week when I was in New York. So I thought this was going to be similar to MAC Oyster Girl, which is my favorite gloss ever. Um, <laughs> this is just such a disappointment for me. So when you swatch this, first off, it has like no color to it. You have to like build it up so hard. Do you see that? There's like nothing there. And then... I put this on my lips and at first it has a little tiny bit of a metallic sheen, a tiny bit, but this dries down in like less than a minute and once it dries down, the metallicness that you got initially is totally gone and it's like there's like nothing there. This is terrible. Like I said on Snapchat, did L'Oreal not give this to people to try? Like behind the scenes, whatever. Did they, don't they have like a, a team of people that try products before they are approved for the market for consumers? I cannot imagine anyone trying this and thinking that this was okay to sell to people because it does nothing. It has no color. It's not metallic. It's just, it's terrible. Sorry, ran over. This is bad. This is really, really bad. I love L'Oreal. This, wow. Wow. Let me mention this Estee Edit from Estee Lauder. I have heard such amazing things about this new line, and I really want to try some of the makeup products. But I got this, I think, as a 100-point perks from Sephora. This is the Dissolve the Drama 2-in-1 Makeup Remover and Cleanser. So I use this on my eyes to take eye makeup off. And it hurt my eyes, like physically hurt my eyes. They were burning. They had that like film over them where you feel like you can't see. You're like, what the hell is wrong with me? Am I going blind? This was terrible. It did take my makeup off, but I really had to work at it. Like with my Lancome by Facil or my Lancome, excuse me, Lancome by Facil, my eye makeup just comes right off. There is no pulling, there's no scrubbing. It just wipes away like magic. This, I really had to work at it and the burning sensation that it gave my eyes and like the redness and the film. No, I don't wanna feel like I'm going blind when I use an eye makeup remover, so. Me and this little guy are not going to be friends, ever. But I do want to try some of the makeup from the Estee Edit because I've heard it's bomb. Oh, this was another really disappointing product for me. The Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. I was so excited for this. I saw so many people using this and saying that the coverage was amazing. It lasted all day. I mean, and their skin looked flawless. This, for me made me so oily. I mean, I was greasier than I have been with probably like 95% of the foundations that I've tried in my life. And I'm not exaggerating. This made me so incredibly greasy. It was terrible. And I wasn't expecting it. Like I thought this was really going to last all day and my skin was going to look so good. So I put it on, went about my day. And then when I looked in the mirror a few hours later, I was like Florida. I'm like, oh my God, my skin looks terrible. It just, it looked horrible. Like it looked good initially going on. The coverage is beautiful. Like it has really great coverage, but it kind of started breaking down on me. And the whole oily thing was just the kicker for me. Like I was so freaking greasy with this. Now I did discover this new amazing product, which I'm actually filming a first impression, not a first impression, but like a follow me throughout the day kind of thing. So you guys can see how good it works. This Murad oil control mattifier. I'm thinking about trying this with these guys. Cause if this can keep these matte, this will keep anything matte honestly. So that may be something that I try and like talk about on Snapchat, but yeah, I will never be able to wear these again unless I can use it with a mirror. Anyway, terrible. Next thing I have, oh, so sad. I love Makeup Revolution, but this is the Vivid Baked Highlighter in Pink Lights from Makeup Revolution. 
Now they have one of these in the shade, I can't think of it, but so many people have told me that I need to get it, that it's gorgeous and it's so up my alley and it's like the perfect color for me. I've had so many of you tag me in pictures, but this one, this one's like a lilac tone and I mean, it's pretty, it's really pigmented, but the problem is when you put this on, it doesn't have enough of that like highlighted metallic foiled look to it. It's almost like a matte lilac highlighter. And I don't know if I got a weird one because I feel like I've seen other people use this and when they put it on, it looks really pretty. But the one that I have just has no... Like, it looks matte. It looks like my Laura Mercier Baked Radiant Matte Highlighter. It has no, there's no metallic highlighted look to it. So it's just weird to me. I've tried this on my face a few times, and it honestly just looks like purple powder sitting on my face. It just looks very odd. So maybe it's just my skin tone, or maybe I just got a weird one, but for me, this just looked bad on me. And then the last thing that I have is this little Wet n Wild um, glitter single. I don't even know what the shade is because there is no name on it. But it's, you guys have seen these before, these little tiny squares that they have. So the problem with this is you look at it initially and you're like, oh my god, that's such a gorgeous gold glitter. But the gold glitter is like an overspray. When you get down into the product, it's just like a, a weird jellyish substance. And when you put this on your eyes, it's almost like you took gold glitter like pieces, put them into a clear base, and mixed it together. There's no like, nothing binding it together. It's just very, very odd. It doesn't cover your eye correctly. Like when you put this on, I feel like I had like a couple tiny little pieces of glitter on my eye and I would have had to build this up for like 15 minutes to get it to be opaque. It's just not good. And I know it's only like $2 if that, but it's still, you're still spending money on a product and I want it to work. So this for me just did not work. Ugh, it's just weird. Eh. Okay, so that's going to do it for my disappointing products. I feel like I had so much this time. Um, if you guys like these videos, let me know down below because I will keep saving my disappointing products. I feel like these videos are helpful. Even though it's like being negative and talking about things that you don't like, I still feel like it's helpful. So, yeah, I'm going to keep doing them as long as you guys keep telling me that you like them. So if you guys have any disappointing products that you would like to share, please do it down below. I love hearing about products that didn't work for people. Um, but like I said, every product works differently for everyone, so nobody should be offended. We're just friends sharing, sharing beauty tips. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys, and I will see you next time. Bye. Just thinking back on my one 
I'm shocked. Me and my mom pimped the aqua minks on the back. And she loves to show me off, of course. Smiles every time my face is up in the stores. We used to post one of the little distance. Don't mind me, I'm like super casual. It's Sunday, I'm just like bum, super cardigan, super beanie, and super easy makeup. It's super. that you can get that are so much better than these. These were just a humongous disappointment for me. Terrible. And then I have these Wet n Wild Geometric Highlighting Powders. Now when I first got these, I thought that they were supposed to be like a traditional highlighter. They're the ones that have like the little geometric little shapes all throughout. So I thought this was going to be like a highlighter. And when I swatched it, I was like, ooh, that just looks like powder to me. So these are supposed to be kind of like the hourglass ambient, you see that fuzz flying around? Um, they're supposed to be like the hourglass ambient lighting powders where you, it's something you can use over your entire face just to give like a, a very soft, like luminous, lit from within glow. These do not do that. They're very powdery and they just they don't look natural when you put it on your face this one is in the shade where the dreamers go and the other one i have is desert explorations so these are the two that i have neither one is nice in my opinion this one's more pink tone but do you see that there's like nothing to it and when you put this on your face um it, I don't know, like the hourglass powders, when you put them on, they give you like the softest, most beautiful sheen. These just look like a white powder on your face. It's not cute at all. So these for me were a fail, a very big fail. And then I have this CoverGirl blush. This is in the shade Natural Twinkle. I love this color. It is so pretty. It's like a dusty pink dare I say dusty pink. It's my version of a dusty pink. But the problem is nothing. It is so light. And you guys know I'm a fan of very soft blushes that you have to build up. This one does not build up. I can dip into this like five times and put it on and it never builds up to anything. It's so light. It's just not the best quality in my opinion when I first got this I was so excited and I used it one time and I thought that it was okay but after that like the more I would try to use it the more I was like why am I fighting with this blush like it shouldn't be this hard to get a blush to show up so nah oh these were a fail for me these are the L'Oreal Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a disappointing products video. I have so much stuff. I feel like when I do disappointing products videos or when I've done them in the past, I haven't had as much stuff, but I've started putting things into a box once I realize they're disappointing instead of just like having them everywhere and then I have to like go around and try to remember. Nobody cares. Let's just get started. Okay, so gosh, where do I even start? Let's start with this thing. So when I first started using this, I liked it, but then bad things began to happen. So this is the Formula X Delete All. It's a nail polish remover. It's a five finger nail polish remover. So it has these little holes. I'll have to do a close up, but there's like five little holes so you can stick your entire, like all five fingers in at the same time. And you're supposed to like, go like this and then pull them out and all the nail polish is going which it actually does that it does that really well the problem is if you have like a glitter nail polish on when you put your fingers in and move them around this black sponge breaks apart so when you pull your hand out your hand is covered in black little like linty bits and they're so hard to get off like I washed my hands and they were still there such a pain in the ass so if you just have a regular nail polish that's not that hard to get off this is okay but if you shimmy too hard shimmy too hard something I don't think I've ever said in a video if you shimmy too hard this will break apart and it is a total mess next product is this NYX oh and let me just give the disclaimer because I didn't give it at the beginning these are products that did not work for me if you use these products and you love them that's amazing I'm so glad that they worked for you I'm not knocking any of these brands these are just things that didn't work for me sometimes people get very offended if I talk about something that they love but everybody has different opinions, so 
I don't mean any harm to you, your family, your pets. It's just something that didn't work for me. Okay, this is the NYX Shine Killer. It's a primer. I used this a few times, like two weeks ago. It is, it's terrible. I feel so bad saying that, but it is terrible. It does not work at all. I almost just dropped it. It doesn't work. I put it on, I put my foundation on, went about my day, and like two hours later, I was so greasy. I am extremely oily, so when I'm putting on something that says Shine Killer, I expect it to last. Even though I'm super greasy, I expect it to last more than two hours. This, no good. This is a huge disappointment. These are the Hard Candy... What are they called? Just hard candy highlighters. They came out with these new highlighters and they're so cute. Like the packaging's cute. You get two like connected, if I can even get them open. So that's what they look like. This is the more pinky toned one. This one is called Candlelit. And then this one is Twinkle Star. This one's more gold, more pink. The problem is, you get nothing. You get nothing. And yes, you can wet your brush, but you still don't get as much as you can get with some other highlighters dry. You know what I mean? I, I don't always want to have to wet my brush to get something to work. I feel like it should work dry and it should work even better wet. So these, huge fail. Do not waste your money. There are so many other highlighters, drugstore highlighters.